Hamilton. I'm here with my buddy Carl. We're here to answer the question, got leather? The answer is, you bet your ass we got leather. We're going to wrap a Fender Stratocaster pickguard in black lambskin. It's going to look pretty cool. All right, here's a cool way to bring kind of a you know, beat up pickguard back to life. We're going to wrap this in leather. So what we need to do is get our stuff that we need. Basically, you're going to need scissors. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. You're going to need a scotch brush pad to scuff up this. You'll need some contact adhesive. This is just happens to be the one I'm using. Um, you need a pencil to mark where you're going to cut. You want to leave yourself extra room on the leather. But just any kind of construction pencil will work because you're not even going to cut it that exact. This just gives you an idea so you don't cut too much away. So, all right. What I do is I take a piece of quarter inch junk plywood, and this is, this is my working surface pretty much every time I make one of these, only because I'm not too worried about it getting damaged. So anything else, the contact adhesive is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. So let's go ahead and cut out what we need to cut out. Okay, so now we're going to trace it with this white paint marker so we know where this is going to sit once we spread the glue. Now, what we want to do is scuff this surface up so the glue sticks to it fairly well. When it's smooth like that, it'll still work. I just don't think it sticks as well. Now, when you see this, if, you know, a lot of you probably know that the shielding tape, leave it on there. I wouldn't remove that at all. That's going to help with noise reduction, okay. eliminating that 60 cycle hum, provided your cavity has shielding as well. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're gonna spray both of these surfaces and you can probably see why I, I do it on a piece of junk plywood so you want to make sure you have enough on there, on the edges. And then you go over to here. Same thing. Then you let it sit for a few minutes. Let it get tacky. We want to have this stuff ready once we have the one laid on top of the other one because we're going to have to stretch that leather on there. 
So you just take it by the edges, kind of lay it in. Okay, so now, because we don't want to mess up our shielding, we're going to take a couple soft rags. We're going to lay it this way. We're going to pull it super tight. Work it. Because what you don't want is as you play later on, you don't want this leather to look all wrinkled and like where it's going to get creases and stuff in it where you don't want them. So now you just kind of work your way around, make sure the edges get it, pull it tight if you feel that it's not tight enough. There's a couple areas where we're not going to go super crazy, like where the pickups are, we're going to cut this area flush. Again, we'll just give it one more last hurrah. Bend all the edges over. This is fairly thin leather. It's lambskin, but uh, all right. So we make sure that's we're good. We can see our our pots where those are gone. We don't want it wrapped super hard where the neck sits either. But the whole outside, we want that to look tight. There you have it, leather wrap pick guard. So here's our finished product. And this is what it looks like on a guitar.